Welcome to Honeywell Integrated Multi-Mode Receiver IMMR Predictor Tool Training. I'm Rosemary Sasai, in service engineer for Honeywell Customer and Product Support Group. Just a reminder that this presentation is Honeywell proprietary information and is subject to export restrictions. Before we proceed on how to get access and benefit using this tool, I would like to brief upon IMMR sustained GPS outage issue for which this tool has been launched. Since May 28th, Honeywell received reports from airline operators wherein one or both the IMMRs were unable to output a valid GPS solution for an extended period of time. And these outages were occurring in different regions at different time periods and occurring both on ground and in flight. Most of the reports have known to be during initial power up of the day and the IMMRs, either one or both the IMMRs could be affected by this issue. The outage could last from anywhere between a few minutes up to three hours or so. And at the end of the outage period, a valid GPS output is automatically restored without any crew or maintenance action. You might be wondering how this tool can benefit you. So we have a few questions answered for you. Why is this tool necessary? Earlier to this, we gave you a brief description of IMMR sustained GPS outage issue. And this tool can assist you in flight schedule planning if your fleet is impacted with this particular issue. Who can access it? This tool is available to aircraft manufacturers or airline operators installed with Honeywell IMMR. When can you use it? This tool can be used if your airline operations is impacted due to the IMMR sustained GPS issue. Where can you find it? The IMMR tool is placed in Honeywell MySpace portal or you can directly access using the link shown here. How do you use it? Log in to the link shown here, add the required data and submit your request. The IMMR predictor tool will plot a graph over time and date with probable outage, possible outage and no outage. For your reference, the IMMR predicted tool instructions are provided in Honeywell Service Information Letter referenced here. Now let's begin with login instructions. Go to the tool link that's shown on the screen and click login. Please note that we do recommend you to use Google Chrome as your default settings for tool usage. Now add in your Honeywell My Aerospace login credentials as username or email address and your password and click sign in. If you're not an existing My Aerospace account user, please request access by clicking create an account. An account registration form as displayed here will be shown on screen. Add in your first name, your last name, your company email address and a password. We do recommend that you access this tool using your company email address only. Then click on I'm at least 18 years old and register. A validation code will be sent to your email address. When you register and activate account tab would open, add in the validation code that was sent to your email address and create account. If you're unsuccessful in adding the validation code within 15 minutes, then please do resend validation code and add in the new validation code to create an account. An account activation tab will pop up. Click on OK. It takes up to 24 hours for your account to get activated. And after 24 hours, you should be able to sign in using your email address and password. If after 24 hours you're unable to sign in, please do contact the email address shown here. After you sign in, add in the four letter airport ICAO code and you would see that the latitude, longitude and altitude will automatically be populated if you're using this tool on Google Chrome. And for destinations other than airport, you can add in the latitude, longitude and altitude information as required. Then you select the start date and the number of days. Note that the number of days here available is 30 days, but the predictions might not be accurate for dates later than seven days from today. So please do generate a report closer to the date under consideration, then click on submit. Predictions will be plotted over time and date indicating probable outage, possible outage, no outage as visible on screen here. 
You can click on the export tab and the data will be extracted to an Excel file that can be printed to a PDF for use. How do you use the data supplied by the IMMR predictor tool? As indicated, a red is for stop, a yellow is to exercise caution, and a green is good to go. A red indicated probable outage, you can expect a likely IMMR GPS outage to occur, and the outage could last until the time that the tool indicates a probable outage. Power cycling is very unlikely to resolve the outage. And please do note that if your IMMR has an existing valid GPS solution, cycling power may lead to a GPS outage. A yellow indicated possible outage would mean that it is likely that an IMMR GPS outage could occur shortly. Power cycling could possibly reset IMMR and bring back GPS functionality. If the GPS outage is reported during the possible outage window, cycling CB could likely resolve the outage. Please note to avoid repetitive power cycling if the outage does not self-resolve. A green indicated no outage would mean that there would be no GPS outage and you have no actions necessary. Powering up of IMMR prior to the probable outage window will allow the system to obtain a valid GPS solution. For any questions or feedback about this presentation, please do email to rosemarysosai at honeywell.com. Thank you.